Hey, greetings, friends. Jacques Howard here, and welcome to Trenton 365. Today, I'm going to be talking with Passage Theater and their new director, and we're going to get into that in just a moment. But before we do, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who voted for WIMG 1300, the five-time Stellar Gospel Award-winning station. This year was a little bit different. We had to go up against a much larger audience, and you know what? We won. So kudos to everyone who voted. Um, for those of you who continue to listen to the radio station and those who follow us on television via WPHY. And again, if you're a small organization, nonprofit, or a business that is looking to get some advertising in a hyper-local area, WIMG 1300 is the place. You can give a call over to Vini Stansberry, 609-695-1300, 609-695-1300. And mention Jacques Howard and Trenton 365. Now I'm going to jump into the stuff that I love talking about, and that is art. All different types of art, from the kind we wear to the ones we live in, the ones we drive, to the ones that we look at, and sometimes well up with emotion and excitement, and sometimes even sadness and opportunities to make us think. And that is the stage and performing arts. Without any further ado, I have Brejan um, Miller of Passage Dealer, who's going to come on. Brejan, let me make sure I get his name right. B-R-I-S-H-E-N. Think of it as an E, Brejan. So uh, Brejan Miller of Passage Theater, sir, thank you so much for your time. Um, I know that you're in the midst of what is a super fascinating time before a performance opens up. But can you just introduce yourself to our audience and talk about what's going on over at Passage Theater? Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Jacques. Um, yes, I'm Brejan Miller. I'm the new managing director of Passage Theater Company. Um, I've been working as production manager for a few years and got promoted early this January. This is a big season for Passage. This is our Trenton Makes season. So all of our world premieres, three world premieres this season, um, are all based, rooted in Trenton stories. Um, we started the season off with the OK Trenton project about the Helping Hand sculpture that was taken down at Perry and Montgomery Street. Um, several individuals from the Trenton community were characters on stage. Um, that show was a great success. Uh, Janet White Awake, the Hedgebeth Williams Dreams, took place at Hedgebeth Williams Middle School, um, telling the story about that court case and what it meant for the students back in 1944, as well as the students today. Uh, it was the precursor to Brown versus Board of Education, got a very, a very robust conversation going on about um, about that case and about uh, um, Trenton schools. Our current production is a new musical entitled Group in which five women are on the road to recovery and addiction through substance abuse. They're, they're implemented into court mandated um, intensive outpatient therapy through group therapy. And the therapist that guides them through this is working with resources that we all understand aren't ideal for people going on the road of addiction. So this is an all female cast, production team, um, um, really highlighting uh, women's addictions and, and mental health uh, issues. And it's a musical with a five piece rock band and six singers. And so you tackle really tough issues about, um, about multi-generational, multi-ethnic addiction is the, the great equalizer. So it can hit anybody anywhere and it hits all the members of this cast. Um, uh, uh, the characters in this story, and they give um, heart-wrenching um, musical renditions of what it's like to uh, go through the process. And we know the opioid uh, epidemic is um, vibrant, <laughs> unfortunately, in Trenton. And so Passage's mission is to tell stories that are relative and relate and resonate with the local Trenton Mercer County community at large. And so this is definitely one of those stories and it's our mission to further the conversation. So we hope everyone comes out to see a, um, a bigger musical than you would expect at Passage. This is, this is off Broadway quality. Um, so we, we hope you come out to, uh, to see it because it, it's, it's, a, it, it's a great time in the theater that really gives you a chance to think about your community and think about um, how, hard, uh, how hard the struggle is. How hard the struggle is when, when, when you have nowhere else to turn but the bottle or the line or, or whatever um, what, or whatever may be ailing them. So, um, so, so it, it, it's, 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. I, I want to jump in there. Um, there's a couple things that you touched on and that resonated with me. One is that um, you've been with Passage for a while. So mm -hmm. uh, I want to make sure that you talk a little bit about that side of the of the theater, because I think oftentimes people just see like whatever's on front, front of the house, on camera. But there's a mm -hmm. lot of work that gets done. And there's a lot of opportunities and career opportunities for folks as well, doing other things and then to be able to um, progress and uh, get promoted like you did. Absolutely, absolutely. People come to a show, a, a, a play, and they see the actors. That's what you see. That's who's making the performance. But there was a lighting designer who designed the light. Lights. There were there were a crew of designers. There are electricians who hang who hang uh, the lights. There are sound techs who who work the speakers. There are carpenters who have to build the stage. Sometimes you need uh, water on stage, so you might need a plumber. There, everything you would need to build a house happens on stage. Um, so you also need admin people, people to run the box office, people to uh, solicit donations, people to do the catering. We partner with caterers. So everything, the beautiful part about theater is it you're watching a tiny bit of life over two hours. So everything that it takes life to, to create, that went into it. And my former role as production manager was managing all of those aspects, you know, whether they be light, sound, technics, you know, the tickets, cleaning the space, you know, maintaining the building. Um, and then and then as managing director, it's going out and, and meeting with you, meeting the people in the community and building the bridges of passage. So the beautiful part about theater is that it's a lot of work, so it takes a small army. Um, I would say this production, uh, um, this musical has n has had over its inception no less than eighty people that have had to. He got caught in a moment, but we'll let him hold back there. I'm sure Brigian Miller of Passage Theater will be back in just a moment. I'm Jacques Howard. You're listening to Trenton and watching Trenton 365 over WIMG 1300 and WPHY Mercer County, New Jersey. WIMG1300.com is the five-time stellar gospel music award-winning station. So big shout out to that. And they are the first station to have the Trenton 365 show and to broadcast my podcast and my programming. Um, so Brisian was talking about Passage Theater, um, and he was talking about an event that they have coming up, which is going to be opening this Saturday, which is called Group, and it's a musical. And for those of you who are familiar with the Passage Theater, um, this musical is going to be a little bit bigger than what's usual. Um, in the midst of the conversation, um, Brigian was sharing about how he's been involved with Passage Theater um, for many years, uh, working back at a house. And I had just asked him about, you know, working in the back of the house is, is oftentimes not what people think about. And uh, he came up with a term where he shared a term with me that I haven't heard before, and I'm going to make sure I try to remember it. And it was tiny bit of life meaning that um, when you see a performance, when you see a stage um, production, everything that's needed to build a house could be done um, on that team, via that team. And when you see a performance, you're actually seeing a tiny bit of life. So I find that, uh, I'm, I'm very interested in that. So I hope that he'll be able to jump back on and we'll continue to talk about that. But uh, just recapping a bit, I do wanna say that um, the season, Trenton Makes Season, which is Passage Theater, is in right now. It started with the OK Trenton Project. Um, and for those of you who are familiar with that, the OK Trenton Project was based out of a sculpture that was done of a hand that was making the o OK sign. Now, I know, or whatever, um, whatever hand. There are some folks who um, have taken that meaning and used it for lots of different ways um, to say different things. Um, when it was put up, there was um, some, I guess, issues around if it was gang related, um, et cetera. I don't really know. Um, I do know that um, from my perspective, um, an artist um, was chosen um, through some sort of a process. Uh, some, some youth in the community came up with the idea and the concept and it was put out. Oh, look at that, perfect time. 
So uh, the OK Trenton project uh, was the first of the three performances. And then the second was the Hedgepath Williams um, story, um, which that one um, always makes me think like how powerful um, Trenton is and, and the soil and the, and the revolutionary blood and mindset that's here. Um, not only is this where George Washington became George Washington on the streets of Trenton, but Trenton's always been a diverse community. It's always been um, free and bond and enslaved, and there were people from different regions. The, the Lenai, Lenape, also known as the Delaware Indians, were here, and there were um, people of, of African descent. Um, I, I personally like to say it probably looks a lot like it does right now, with just um, some, some of the characters um, changing. But um, even the history of the Hedgepath Williams story, and that going all the way to the Supreme Court to being cited. There's some powerful stuff happening here in Trenton. And uh, it's being brought to you by the arts, the theatrical arts. And um, Brigia Miller is back. He's the managing director, as I mentioned earlier. And he was just uh, in the midst of talking about um, the back of the house um, and the different types of work. And uh, Brigia, I was, I was saying the term tiny bit of life resonated with me when you explained that, because that is what you you do in the, the theatrical process, and then I guess I was I was also talking about how like you know we go through these waves and emotions, and that's all part of it. So um, I like for you just to kind of finish up, just talking about you know the opportunities that folks may have um, you know to work not necessarily on screen or on stage, but in film or in theater. Yeah, with a especially with a musical. So you have singers on stage. That means a lot more of equipment. So that means the sound and the lights have to work together. So we have numerous people just up on ladders running cable. We have people loading in speakers. We have people mixing sound. We have carpenters um, building things. We have painters. We have we have a lot of different positions that, that aren't just the six actors on stage. You know, and then when you get like for myself as a producer, you have to manage all of that. And so you um, on the admin side, you can be someone who does the marketing or someone who does the purchasing or someone who books all the housing. We have we have actors from the West Coast. We have actors from all over. So we have to house them. You know, so there are a lot of different there are a lot of different opportunities that aren't just on stage when you even if you go uh, all the way to New York and see a Broadway play, those actors are just a piece of the picture it takes it takes quite a lot of people and quite a lot of professions into the theater I know some I know some techs who have only worked in electrics or carpentry or props building the props and have never ever wanted to be on stage never learned a line in their life but they but they they do all the making of theater and and this this doesn't this there's no gatekeeping here this doesn't this doesn't mean to a certain class or a certain type of people um uh, we have all ethnicities in, in this current show. Spanish is spoken fluently in this show. Um, um, this, this reaches uh, uh, all peoples. Um, and I, I want to mention something. You, you, you brought out the Lene Lenape and the, uh, the Delaware Indians that, that the, the church building of the Mill Hill Playhouse um, was constructed in 1873. The, uh, the exterior is all rocks from the Delaware. That stone you see came directly from the river. So I, I, when I'm when I'm in the building working, it just you know remembers to me that there's a there's an, a piece of old history yeah. of the region that is our surrounding building. You know. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know that, and um, that is a very interesting perspective, especially when we start thinking about, you know, if we're thinking metaphysically and the energy that's in the soil, that's in the stones, in that space, and it being a spiritual space, like it was a spiritual space. It was. Some may say that it still is, you know, because theater is that. Um, going forward, you know, there's, there's people who may not appreciate um, performing arts. Um, the theater, 
the stage um, for whatever reasons, whether they weren't exposed to it, um, they just don't haven't ha haven't seen the right performance, et cetera. Um, as someone who encourages people to try things new, what is one of the things that Passage Theater would like um, folks who haven't been to their theater to know? So as a nonprofit theater, we, we have to be mission bound. So we have a mission and that informs everything we do. And it's Passage's mission to create socially relevant theater for all audiences of the Trenton community. So when we, when we tell stories on stage, we're telling them about our surrounding area. Um, we had um, a show a few years back, Caged, uh, about the prison systems uh, um, in Trenton. We, we've had shows of, about race relations. We've had shows of, uh, uh, about economic disparities. We want to tell Trenton stories because um, our board president once to, uh, told me um, as I was promoting into this position that everyone deserves theater. And theater doesn't have to be Hamlet at the Globe, uh, high art. Theater can just literally be an in-person movie to where just like you would go to a movie or turn on Netflix, now you have the performers six feet away from you. And so it's just that kind of story, um, but it's live. You know, you see the reactions, you feel them. They can look you directly in the eye. Everybody should have that. It, it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to dress up and, and be on your Sunday best. You can just come to the theater. And and if you don't think you can afford the theater, we have a program to where if you, you want to show your WIC or your EBT card, we can get you $5 tickets. So we want to make this accessible to people who, who are used to the old antiquated idea that the theater is for high society. No, the theater should be for the people. The theater should be for the people of the community. Um, and that's why this season we put signs on the building that say Passage Theater so that when people walk up, oh yeah, we do plays here. This is a playhouse, but this is a playhouse for Trenton. This isn't, you know, we're not Philadelphia. We're not New York. We're not even Newark, uh, mm -hmm. honestly. We're, we're, we're this part of New Jersey and we're about these people. And so we want to we want to be able to tell stories because in essence every theater maker is just telling stories. And so we want those to be your stories and we want to reach out to people who don't think they have an opportunity. Um, because it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a socialite event. It should be it should be for the people who who rest right here in downtown Trenton. Now, with that being said, um, can you touch a bit more on where the organization is going? I mean, I think you've nailed it talking about the past, what the mission is. It's a mission-bound nonprofit to tell the stories of Trenton. And so that means as Trenton moves and evolves and shapes and changes, Passage Theater is going to be in line as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So where we're going is we've recognized that through our play lab program and through our education program, we can develop shows. Uh, um, most of our shows are written in-house with local playwrights uh, um, um, from the area. Uh, we do we do some shows that that are are written elsewhere and have not been produced, but most of our shows come uh, 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 from the area. So with that, we could really be a vehicle to tell stories of the broader community. So where we're going at, at one of the performances of Janet Wide Awake at the middle school, at Hedgebeth Williams Middle School, there was a member of the uh, Trenton Board of Education who's saying, can we make this um, um, a regular occurrence to where, to, where, to where you're telling stories of the school district and, and teaching to the kids on a regular basis? And if we can produce it, if we can fund it, if we can make that possible, Passage could be that. It could be that vehicle to where we have a panel of local of 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 local community stakeholders who who pick our stories to where to where we are to where we're the playwriting and producing engine of what Trenton wants to see, you know. So, wow, that's that 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 is exciting. I mean, think about that, right? When we when we talk about how to impact communities. It's not necessarily at the retail level. 
It's being able to get the access at the manufacturing level, the distributions, you know, all those types of things. So with Passage Theater, with the history that it has in Trenton at the Mill Hill Playhouse, if it has the ability, all the different moving parts to play, write, play, design, build sets, maybe even send things on tour. We all have that right here in the city of Trenton. Young people, in, how do we encourage um, parents and uh, guardians to support young people who show an interest in uh, the performing arts and maybe in the stage life? So there, there are a lot of opportunities that we have for young people to volunteer, for young people to um, um, to to take up um, apprenticeships. So this summer we'll be partnering with Isles uh, uh, to to take uh, stage carpenter interns. So they will they will work with our staff to learn. So they have they have affinity for construction, and they'll it's just a slight tweaking for home construction to be theater construction. So they'll work with our technical director and our production manager to learn how to build sets. And over the summer, the set of our next show, Blues in My Soul, um, about a uh, uh, Lonnie Johnson, uh, um, a uh, a kind of unsung he jazz hero of the '30s. Uh, that set will be built by those interns. Um, and so we're, we're giving them a skill, but at the same time, they'll be in the program as head carpentry crew, you know, so, so th those, those opportunities are out there. Um, in future's time, we would love to get, we would love to get a summer camp back going against passage. We have, we have artworks, Right down, uh, um, right through the alley, we have New Pod City. We have we have the potential to building an arts district to where there are after school opportunities um, for um, for a, a lot of a lot of the young people. I, it takes a lot of work and implementation for this to go forward. This isn't this isn't something that can have, happen quickly, but the potential is definitely there. The potential is definitely there. We have. Um, uh, our audio engineer uh, for the current show, Scott Miller at Exit 7A Studios, he, he, he ran into where he was, um, to where he needed more help. So he brought in youth from the community. He, he, has, a, he has a young man who's going to be mixing our show uh, uh, group is, is, is going to be uh, uh, um, a young man from the community who grew up in Trenton and found these opportunities. So we don't want to we don't want to make it hard for young people to come in. Uh, it, 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 it may take time, but there, there are opportunities here if you're willing to learn. Um, and we're always looking for volunteers. We're always looking for volunteers. So you could learn, you could learn how to run a ticketing system, learning how to sell concessions, learning to usher seats, learning what goes into the making of a program and passing out the programs and, and all of the, the digital work. And now because of the pandemic, all of our work has to be digital. So there is a virtual version of each show. So that's video work. And so as, as, as each time someone moves out of the community beyond, we need to bring someone young up to replace them. And you just nailed how we build a better community for everyone. When we can teach our successes and our failures so that people can learn from them and the next generation can come along. There comes a point in time when everyone has to transition and move on. It's lonely at the top. Why do you wanna be the only one doing the only thing? Brigian, I appreciate you coming on, sharing about Passage Theater. I hope to hear from you soon. Um, folks, please go over to the website, passagetheater.org, and learn more about the organization and reach out directly to Brigian, because I'm sure you'd love to come and have a conversation with a group of people or find more partners um, who can work with Passage Theater as volunteers or as interns. Would that be correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm Happy, I'm happy to have a conversation with anyone. Like Jacques said, my email is right on the website. Uh, um, um, at any time, I will get back to you and we can have a conversation about this because this, this theater doesn't work if, if, if it's not for Trenton. So I, I want to have those conversations. So absolutely. Regent Miller, thank you so much for your time, sir. I can't wait to have another conversation with you. Thank you. Show opens this Saturday.
There we go. And there you have it, friends. Uh, just another conversation with some amazing human beings doing some different things for you to get an opportunity to connect with them, find out what they're doing and how you can support what they're supporting. In the end, folks, remember, it's always about justice, peace, and humility.